Hey. A protest outside the immigration office in New York to support an undocumented father of two facing deportation. 50-year-old Riaz Talukta has been in the U.S. since the age of 13, taken there from Bangladesh by an uncle. But under tough policies under President Trump, last month Talukta was ordered to show up here with his passport and a one-way plane Today, ticket. What's going to be happen? I don't know. I have no idea for that. I hope it's going to be okay. As well as having two sons, his wife is suffering from cancer. Um, my dad got deported. What will I do? What will my mom do? What will my brother do? Like, if will we go back to Bangladesh if we have no money? Very much. Thank you, Mike. Rights groups have now got involved in the case, vowing to do all they can to make sure that Talukta can stay. Hardworking New Yorkers raising his. After the meeting with immigration officials, news they had been hoping for. The father's been given a six-month reprieve to allow time for more legal action. The fight has, has really just begun. We're at the beginning stages. We've got motions that have just been filed. We have to let them continue to process. Let's hope those motions are granted. If they're not granted, we've got additional appeals and additional motions that we've got to file after that. Yes, we did! Our correspondent says this kind of story has become more common under the Trump administration. Since January this year, the number of undocumented migrants with no criminal charges deported is 30% more than in 2016.